we want to hand the children back to their bio families when we can and when we can't and we're looking for those forever families, we need you. So for the past few months, we've been working with Focus on the Family and the Department of Human Services to mobilize the church once again, um, the faith community around the foster care issue. Um, but in particular, um, we took a very specific approach and we were looking to identify um, and recruit adoptive families for the more than 350 kids that are currently in DHS custody um, who are in need of an adoptive family. Well, let me tell you a little about who they are. Of the children that are waiting right now, there are 86 children that are not going to be placed with their siblings. They are individual children. Of those, 51 of them are male, 29 are female, but 56 of them are 13 years or older. But we've got sibling sets too. We've got 72 sibling sets. 14 of them are a set of two. Nine of them are a set of three. Three of them are a set of four, and we have one set of five, and I see we have our set of five sitting up here on the stage with me. We tend to get a really good response from these events. It actually is about 40% of families that come end up starting the process of adoption. And I think a lot of it comes from there's so much fear and misconception around foster care generally that it just really scares people from taking any sort of action. And so this gives them a really safe place to come and we can address a lot of the fears and concerns and they hear information that, okay, what I've been believing or what's been holding me back is actually not even true and I don't, I don't need to be fearful of that. It gives families permission to start moving forward and pursuing adoption. I know that I hear from many people, what about the kids in other countries? What about the kids overseas? It's like, well, gosh, we have kids who are being sex trafficked right here in the United States because they've been in foster care and they emancipated from our system because there was no caring adult. There was no one to wrap love around them in a safe way and let them come into their family. So those kids aged out of our system and went right into being sex trafficked um, on the streets right here in the United States, not in another country, but right here. Um, I, I want to inform people about the needs of our kids. Uh, my wife and I actually talked about adoption before we got married. We uh, decided that we, well, the original plan was that we were going to adopt two kids and have two biological kids, but once we started taking kids in from foster care and adopting them, we realized there's such a huge need there, and so we really believe that this is what God had for us, and so we've now adopted seven children from foster care in Los Angeles County. And it went from being the way we build our family to being a passion. 